Welcome to the NASCAR Kumon Cup Series Season 3 Sunoco Duel Highlights. So both races were 6 laps, and here are some storylines and drivers to watch out for. Austin Dillon won the pole. Eric Jones is making his debut for Furniture Row Racing. And YouTuber Motorsports makes their debut fielding two cars. And those drivers are... 52 of Axel Rocha, who will be running the full season. And Nick Pertamo will be running the first nine races. There's chaos on the initial start of the race. As you can see here. Right now... Austin Dillon and Jack Lawton were left out to dry, and then it just got chaotic here. And then Danica Patrick comes around to take the lead. I'm fast forwarding to the final lap because most of the race was pretty boring, aside from a few lane changes and overtakes. See, William Lobb was leading, coming to the white flag. Then Kyle Larson made his movement. Axel Roger was coming on the outside. They went into a battle. Rocha switches lanes. Danica Patrick gets forced into the grass. Larson blocks Rocha, coming to the line. And Kyle Larson takes Duel 1 away from Axel Rocha. So, Kyle Larson wins Duel 1. He's getting off season to a good start. And Jeffrey Earnhardt makes it in to the Kumon 500. Now for Duel 2. Also, Cole Witt, I think. Yeah, Cole Witt, he made it in to speed. But yeah, this is Duel 2 now, and the highlights from that race. Once again, there are some storylines and drivers to watch out for. Paul Menard got on the front row. Richard Childress Racing has been looking really strong. Jane McMurray, the Season 2 champion, starting 5th. Jeb Byrne is subbing in for Eric Calamarola after his big crash in the clash. So moving on to lap two now. Kurt Busch was battling for the lead, but then he got spun by Chris Busher. Then after the restart on lap four, more chaos occurred. You can see here. Goldberg gets a bump from Jimmy Johnson, and Chirp Bing gets one from Brad Keselowski, and it just leads to a huge pileup involving, I believe, seven cars. Fast forward into the final lap now, and we had some... Major action as Chris Buescher was leading them down. He was having a great run, and then they're going three what all the way back. Boyer took the lead. He was blocking lanes. He came down Buescher a little bit too late. They all crashed, and Goldberg barely takes duel two over Casey Kane. No Goldberg wins by two one thousandths of a second over Casey Kane. So Goldberg also getting off to a pretty good start this season. As he's burning it down here. And DJ Kennington made it into the Kumon 500. The Xfinity race is tomorrow and the 500 on June 24th. Stay tuned.